Now, as most of you know, as well as a strength and performance trainer, I am also a high school basketball coach, and this is exactly what I used to get almost every single kid on my high school team to be dunking in just one summer. If you want to dunk a basketball in less than three months, then you need to be doing this two times per week. No, I am not talking about a depth jump to a medicine ball throw. What I am talking about is the principle, the technique that I am using while doing this exercise. And this is by far, in my opinion, the most important technique that you could be using to increase your vertical jump. And what I'm talking about is the drop off principle. Now, a little caveat here, in three months, not everybody's going to dunk. However, if you can touch the rim right now, but you can't dunk a basketball, I am willing to bet that doing this technique for the next three months is going to get you very, very close. And I'm going to give you a few different exercises to use while also using this technique. So as you can see, I am moving the box back farther and farther every single rep. So I'm kind of doing warm up reps. And as I get farther and farther and farther, I eventually creep up to my max intent reps. And the goal is to try to beat your record every single rep. As soon as I get to the point where I cannot beat my previous record two to three times in a row, I always give myself a couple reps just in case. But when I have maxed out my intent and I can no longer beat my previous record, then I am done. I am not doing any extra reps. This is the whole point of the drop off principle. You do an exercise until you see a drop off in performance and then you stop. And you can see how this would be superior to me just programming five sets of three reps of a depth drop into a medicine ball throw. Now, as most of you know, as well as a strength and performance trainer, I am also a high school basketball coach and this is exactly what I used to get almost every single kid on my high school team to be dunking in just one summer. Now, what I'm actually going to do is give you guys a few exercises that I want you to do twice a week using the drop-off principle, and this is going to be the key, the money maker, to help you dunk within three months. The first exercise is a broad jump into a high object touch. Now, this works best if you do have a basketball hoop at your gym or a hoop in general, um, but this also works if you use a high ceiling or a high wall or a tennis ball hanging from the ceiling. Also, don't mind my slippers. This was supposed to be an upper body day and I wear my slippers on purpose because every single time I go to do upper body, somehow I end up just doing lower body anyway. So what you're going to do is put an object on the floor and I want you to start very lightly. We're just doing a very small broad jump into a vertical jump because we are going to work into our max intent reps. You do your broad jump into your high object touch and then you move the object back a little bit. So now you're doing a little bit of a farther broad jump into a vertical jump and then you move it back farther and farther and farther. Now this is very important. You really only want to change one of the variables at a time. So we have our horizontal jumps and we have our vertical jumps. And in this video, you can see that I'm just touching the backboard every single time. So the vertical jumps, the high object portion of this exercise is not changing. I'm changing the variable of my horizontal jumps by jumping further and further and further every single time. Speak it, bro. You could also do this by keeping your broad jump the same, get yourself a nice broad jump and then change the variable, which is the high object and jump higher and higher and higher every single time. Now the key point is to use the drop off principle and when you get so far back that you can no longer touch the backboard for two to three times in a row, the exercise is over, you must move on. We are using the drop off principle and the main key of the drop off principle is to only jump jump until you see a drop off in performance or you cannot complete the rep. Another example of this is to just do broad jumps and track your distance for the broad jumps and jump farther and farther and farther with your broad jumps until you cannot beat your previous record. And guys, I will admit a few other trainers out there watching this video are probably going to be a little bit mad because this isn't exactly 
the drop off principle. The drop off principle exactly is say you're doing a back squat and you can use this for your strength training as well. You're doing a back squat. You have three reps with 50% of your one rep max on a deep back squat. And you are doing these reps until you see a drop off in velocity. So when you feel like you can no longer move the bar up fast, you stop. That is really the drop off principle. So with these broad jumps and the broad jumps to a high object touch, we can kind of call it the drop off principle. But since we're moving the object farther and farther back, this isn't really considered the drop off principle because there's not a drop off in performance. We just continue to move the, the object back until we can't reach the high object anymore. But anyways, that's really not the point. The point is max intent until you can no longer reach the goal and then you stop. That is the most important thing. So as I stated, you can do this with broad jumps until you cannot beat your previous record. You could do this with approach jumps until you cannot beat your previous record, or you can do this with jump sessions. What I program for my athletes in my programs and with my online coaching is I program jump sessions until you really feel a drop off in performance. So as soon as you feel like you're not getting your highest jumps anymore, that's it. Clean up. We're done. We're out of the gym. So guys, this is the juice. This is really the juice when it comes to forcing adaptation in your body. As I always say, your body needs a stimulus great enough to force adaptation. Your body is, it's, it's hard to really force adaptation, but one great technique to force adaptation and force your vertical jump to get higher is to use this drop off principle. Or if we don't want to call these broad jumps and the broad jump into the high object touch, if we don't want to call that the drop off principle, then we could just say to do your exercises, start very light and then get more intense and more intense and more intense until you're at the point where you are giving 100% max intent and you're trying as hard as you can to beat your previous records so that we understand we are really using max intent to the point where it is going to stimulate our body enough to force adaptation. I'm telling you, this is the juice. This is the way that you're going to dunk in less than three months by doing this two times per week. As always, check out our programs. My Beyond the Rim 2 program has this drop-off principle added directly into it. We got Beyond the Rim Strong and Bouncy, Beyond the Rim Project Plyo, Indestructible Knees. If your knees hurt, upper body programs, we have it all. Everything that you need to take your athleticism and your vertical jump to the next level. But I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace.